were thinking about mental health and in this time of COVID, hmm? because normally mental health is still an issue, but think about it in this time of COVID, we've had lockdowns. I think all of us experienced the lockdown. Was anybody in a place where they didn't experience the lockdown? We all did. So there are those challenges that have come to us as young people, to you as young people. I'm not a very young person anymore, but I'm a young person inside. So those things that you've gone through in this time of COVID-19, how have they affected your mental health? Or if not your mental health, how have they affected the mental health of your father, of your mother, of your auntie, of your headmaster, of your friend, but especially of you as a young person? That's what we want to talk about. So I'm expecting a lot of dialogue. I'm expecting you to tell me. You may not have to share personally what you feel. I mean, because you may not feel very good, but you can tell us how your neighbor lived through it, how your auntie's neighbor in the Muzigo hmm, lived through it. So can we share that? Do we have any volunteers? Mental health yes. at the time of yes, sure. COVID-19. Okay. There may be COVID-18, but I know COVID-19. We're talking about COVID-19. Yes, thank yeah. you, Hillary. In this time of COVID, I think me personally, what, what, what um, disturb with, with it, it is like, I fear to repeat my year because mm -hmm. uh, I have been hoping that next year I'm going the class. Uh, in the class, in the next class, but wh what uh, I have realized, if this COVID is not ended up soon, all, all we may end up losing this year. Uh, that's what um, you feel. That's you feel. what, that's what, what I feel. Thank you very much, yes. Hillary. I think what Hillary has brought up is a very important thing, and I think you've read, been reading it in the news. Every, especially the candidate classes are asking. They are like Hillary, saying we are, we don't know what to do. I was in S6. Now I don't know where I'm going. What about I was going to. S4, I was finishing off S4, I don't know. So I think that is a time of uncertainty. It has been a time of uncertainty. Thank you very much, Hillary. I think You're that's welcome. a very critical thing you've shared with us. Do we yes. have any other ideas? So Hillary has been feeling Someone, uncertain. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Kelvin, please. Um, I personally, I feel like COVID has affected me in a way that, like right now, my mm. friends, like mm. right now, are in class, like they're having online classes. Mm. But then due to some situation, not mm. all of us are able to attend. Mm. And when we go back to school, people will be ahead of some of us. So yeah. it affected me physically. Even if I'm able to attend right now, there are ups and downs. I have to attend some things. Thank you. So I miss my lessons oh, and classes. You. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you very much, Kelvin. She's shared that the challenges, we're talking about mental health and common stresses. Now this is a time of uncommon stress. Mm. She says other people are doing online classes, but for her, she can't have... Uh, get them. Very many people have been like that. There are classes online, they can't afford. There are two people in the family, both of you are in, one is in S6, one is in S4. There's one computer at home. I mean, there's one TV at home. Well, how are we going to do that? It's quite challenging. Thank you, Kelvin. That's a very important thing. Any other ideas away from uh, school, but still with uh, COVID-19 <coughs> and mental health? Yeah. Well, seeing as, seeing as, um, parents or guardians, basically adults can go to work, children can go to school. It has made everyone physically dull, Please. but the, it has made everyone physically dull, mm -hmm. but the mind also lazy because now, I don't know, when you work, it's not only your body, but it's also mental. Wow. It's your mind. So really everyone's people. mind has kind of slowed down. Which yeah. Thank yeah. you, Janelle. Thank you. She has yeah. mentioned a critical thing work and its relationship to mental health because people are not working people have been locked down at home parents have been work, locked down students have been locked down many people couldn't travel even to the villages because it kind of came suddenly even those who could can't travel to their places of work mm. so it has created this feeling of you know depression sadness you know slow uh, you know laziness and all these affect our mental health thank you janelle Yes. One Someone or two more ideas, please. Let me hear from uh, Tierra. Tierra, thank you, Tierra. Tierra is going to share with us. Let's listen to her, and then we'll <coughs> next we'll listen to Desire. Um, I think one of the challenges that I faced during COVID, mm. some people 
were having jobs and these were full time jobs. Yeah. Mm. So they do not have like side hustles which yeah. they would use like to generate money. So mm. right now they do not have like anything to you any job to do or like anything to get money yeah. and they have families to take care of yeah. that's why some you find like on the news you find people fighting for food and stuff so because of covid people are not able to work people are not able to get money thank so. you thank you very much tiara you want to add to that point or a new point altogether she's he's adding then we we'll move to to uh, okay Isaiah. besides tiara's point yeah um like most of the workers have been laid off uh -huh. so now most of the people are jobless sure. though the lockdown has been kind of hmm. so most people are jobless mm -hmm. and which is affecting let me say the potential workers let me say the 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 ones the unemployed youth now are many, many so more. let me say it discourages some of us hmm. to look for jobs since we know some companies have laid down workers so well, i don't think same. Okay, if I'm to say even so even these workers that have been let me say laid down, they also have their papers. Sure. They are well good. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much, Paul. Paul is adding to Tierra's uh, issue of work and being laid off, not only by parents but also young people. And already we had kind of unemployment, a lot of it, and COVID nineteen has made it was resulting into depression, discouragement, you know. Life is not easy in the midst yes. of COVID. So let's hear from Desire, then we'll wind this up. Uh, families, uh, some of the, okay, when they uh, put the, when they laid down the lockdown, mm -hmm. some people, uh, let's say, I got stuck into a country and I can't see my family. I can't come back and see them. It has caused like depression mm -hmm. and you're away from your friends. Imagine we're locked up for like three months and uh, you're away from your friends, your families, being alone, it caused some kind of sadness, loneliness, depression, and yeah, it was really hard. Thank you, thank you very much, Desire. I think we are hearing the voices of the young people coming about, coming out about the effects of COVID-19. We are hearing them say that there's been separation of families, there's been isolation, mm. there's been not being able to go to school. So the young people are, are hurting, uh, stressed, and usually because of stress, or rather because of COVID, Parents have lost jobs. Even young people who had their own jobs have lost jobs. So these are the mental health um, results of COVID-19. And another thing I would like us to add before we move on to the, as we wind this session up, is the issue of sexual and reproductive health in the young people. Mm -hmm. There are young people who are sexually active. It's not something that we encourage young people to do, but there are some who are of age, they are over 18, and they have not had access to contraception, access to oral PrEP, which prevents HIV, and some of them have not had access to ARVs. So these are all the issues that have come up in COVID-19, and we recognize these issues, and I'm glad that you people have brought them up. Now we are going to go look into how can we deal with these issues. We have even just touched the surface of these issues, and I think after this session, I'd encourage all of you to go back home and talk to other young people. Yeah, just around your home, around your family group, yeah? around your WhatsApp groups, you have your WhatsApp groups, your Twitter, I see a lot of young people on Twitter. You can be starting these conversations about how are young people going through this and how can they get through it, which is where we are going now mm -hmm. in the next session, Bakshi. Right now we are going to take a break and uh, after the break we shall continue the discussion and speak about how can we as young people move forward and improve the issues of mental health. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.